In the previous video, we stumbled upon a bug and had to figure out why our app wasn't working as intended. After a bit of debugging, we discovered that the data type of the user's response was being turned into a string on line 1, even though they had entered a number. We googled a solution, but I never mentioned the technical term for what we did. On lines 2 and 5, we performed a type coercion on the user's inputs. Using parse int, we coerced the data types or forced them to become numbers from strings. I also mentioned that we should test our tipping calculator to see if it will correctly calculate the tip on totals with decimal values. So let's test that case out. First, we need to know what to expect. If the bill total is $13.37, a 20% tip will be 2.674. Now, I know that we don't calculate money to the thousandths place, but the computer doesn't know that, so let's keep going. If we then add this tip to the total bill again, 1337, we get 16.044. Now, if I divide this by 4, because let's say that's how many people there are, I get 4.011, so each person would have to pay this much. That's what should be in the alert when I hit run and type in these values. Let's see what actually happens when we run our program. We get $3.90, which is not what we expected. It's actually pretty close, but it's not exact. Now the question is, why is this happening? Let's start by looking at the tip amount on line 13 and see if we're getting 2.674. If we do get that, then we know that the bug is happening somewhere afterwards. But if we don't, then the bug is probably on some line of code above it or before it. So let's insert a console.log after the tip amount is calculated and see if the tip amount is being correctly calculated. So let me run it with the same exact inputs, 13, 37, and four people. And we see that it says 2.6 in the console, which isn't accurate. So we can pinpoint that there's probably something wrong with total bill num if the tip amount isn't being calculated correctly. So let's see where total bill num is being calculated, and that's on line two. On line two is where we coerce a string to a number. Let's actually console.log total bill num and see if it's correct. When I type in 13.37, it should log that right back at us. So let me just rerun it with the same exact inputs. And look at that, it says 13 instead of 13.37. So it rounded our input. Now why is that? Well, on line two, we're coercing total bill to an integer, which is also a whole number with parseint, so JavaScript is dropping the decimals. Instead of using parseint, we might want to use the other function that was described in the Stack Overflow post that we looked at. Let's use parse float instead to keep the decimal and make sure that it logs 1337 correctly. So let me change parseint to parse float. And when I rerun it with the same exact inputs, we get the exact values that we were expecting. So great, it's working. I think we can leave number of people num on line six as an integer because you can't really have fractions of a person. It should always be a whole number. We also see that our tip is being calculated correctly as 2.674, but we have to play around with that because no one's gonna pay four thousandths of a cent. I only wanna display an amount that goes out to two decimal places. So let's figure out a way to round the amount to two decimal places. Let's try Googling an answer for that. So I'm going to type in JavaScript two decimal places. And let's look at the first uh, result that we get. It looks like the two fixed method is exactly what we want. We want to keep only two decimals, but there is an issue with this or something we got to pay attention to. It says that it's going to convert our number into a string. So we probably only want to use this when we tell the user how much each person should contribute, not before it, because I don't want to change my numbers back to strings and then have to do all that again. I guess you can't win them all. So let's go back to our code and let's see where we want to do that. I think I want to do that when we tell the user how much each person should contribute. So it's going to be cost per person. And then I'm going to put a period and then I'm going to type in two fixed. And in the parentheses, I can type in how many decimals I want. So now let me run our code and see if it works correctly. 
So I'm going to type in 13.37. Four people were in attendance, and each person should contribute 4.01 which is exactly what we expected, so our program is working correctly. In the next video, let's try to anticipate someone typing in letters or special characters instead of numbers and figure out how to handle that case.